So we all know Julian Newman as one of the most popular high school hoopers ever. I mean he literally played about a decade of high school hoops and even had his own show that covered him throughout his teen years. However we've barely seen any movement from Julian recently despite participating in the creator league. With that in mind, what's going on with Julian Newman? What is the next step in his basketball career? And well we finally got some answers. In fact Julian himself was the one to provide the information as he went into a podcast and revealed the reality behind his NBA dream. It's like, it's cool, man. A lot of time, you know, the devil try to get inside. You think, oh, man, I ain't doing nothing. You should be hooping. But nah, bro, that's the biggest blessing in the world, bro, to get to hang with your family oh, and work is. out with them. And, and it's man. bigger than, I'd rather do that than playing the league right now. I'd rather do that than playing the league right now. I'd rather do that than playing the league. Yeah, Julian finally accepted that professional hoops is not for him, which honestly isn't that surprising. I mean, the guy's 21 years old with no college experience. Also, he spent the last year or two playing celebrity games or other influencer runs. That is obviously not enough exposure to even think about the professional level. However, there's still a bright side to this. Julian Newman is officially aiming for content creation, which could lead to a YouTube channel coming soon. Remember, he's already collabing with big creators in the Creator League and doing all types of of IRL content. In fact, he even met Giannis back in February of this year since t hooked him up with VIP access. Anyways, Julian already has the big following on Instagram. He has some type of relevance still, so him participating in future park runs or events like the Creator League will be the best fit for him. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, Julian does thrive when expectations are not set high or when the competition is pretty mid. We saw that in the Creator League actually, where he had multiple scoring outbursts. This includes a 42-point game which had no crowd in attendance and multiple 30 point bombs. Quite frankly, this type of environment is where Julian could succeed. Not only could he still go viral for you know doing stationary dribbling, but Julian could also get that bread at the same time. Now I am aware that he does have some sponsorships with companies like Manscaped, but that clearly isn't enough for a living. YouTube and overall content creation is where Julian could really make a career. However, I just hope that he does not make a fool of himself and keep mentioning that he will drop off LaMelo Ball. Recently you said you defeat uh, LaMelo Ball a one-on-one -on -one situation uh say that did happen what do you think you would do better than Lamelo in a one-on-one -on -one situation um i just think he can't guard me Anyways, this update is pretty much where Julian Newman is standing at right now. He's heading towards content creation and could start posting some videos pretty soon. In fact, he has connections with guys like Cash and even Flight, so maybe he could start doing some 1v1s with them. Not 2v2s though, because Cash and Flight are actually a pretty deadly duo. In fact, they have a record of 3 and 2 together while beating some good competition. With that being said, click this video on the screen to find out how this duo could possibly humiliate Julian Newman. Trust me, this video is worth watching so click it.